Hello everyone. I've been sick with a cold all this week, and I mean I just got over it yesterday morning. So because I was sick, I couldn't work on a complex video for you guys, but no worries. This week I have a speed paint video where I explain my process to you real time via voiceover. Even though this week is just a speed paint process video, next week I do have something more fun planned, so be sure you're subscribed and turn on my notification bell so that way you get notified whenever I upload. So interesting thing about this video, I originally was going to show a process video of a different piece and insert piece here, but because past Jasmine who originally recorded that video never finished recording the process. I literally stopped recording just as I started rendering. I don't know why, but I did. <laughs> I was bummed out, but instead of letting that get to me, I decided to just look for a different piece that I had already recorded that I've been wanting to share with you guys. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy. So starting off, I wanted to keep the look of each of the faces symmetrical, so I drew a base sketch of the head and I kind of copied it throughout all four of the boxes. So now that you see that right now, I'm just using the base and sketching out the eyes. Since I already did the base before I even started this step, it's much easier and the workflow is much smoother. Next comes adding the base colors. Um, I'm quite quick when it comes to adding base colors and such. Most of my drawing process is during the rendering phase. So if I'm going through this quickly, it's because this is just mapping everything out. I like to focus my energy on the rendering phase. So that's why I go through it quickly. Right now I'm just adding the gradients of the shadow. I kind of started it with a warm color like an, a medium orange and I added a blue near the end of it to get kind of that cool shadow look. And I'm just going through effects here to see what I'm happy with. Since the last step is rendering, I like to make sure that the base and the sketch itself is a color scheme that I like and I'm happy with so I can just mindlessly render. Now that I'm happy with the actual base, of it I started rendering so I started off with Marcus and I started rendering the eyes first before I did anything else um, I like to start with the eyes because that's the whole focus of this painting as well as is just my favorite part I think there's so much details you can add and it really brings the character to life so which is why I love doing it Here I'm adding the glow to his eyes that I'm going to add to every single one of my OCs but at the moment I just added it to him since I finished his first. Now I'm working on Amber. So my rendering style is first I kind of blend the colors together with a light airbrush tool and then I kind of go through like all the colors that I have marked out. I blend them together in a way that I like. And then when I need some sharper areas, I go back with a line art brush and I kind of add those sharp lines to the blended area. It makes it look like a professional drawing and which I really like when it comes to my artwork. So I try to do that. Thank you. 
here I'm adding the highlight effect to Amber's eyes as well as to the sides of the characters because I wanted to give it that glowing light effect. I've also started on Timothy. So I don't know if you've noticed so far, whenever I draw a character and their eyes or their eyebrows are covered by hair, I like to just first render that first and then I go back to the hair. What I'm doing is I'm going to give it that little um, see-through look where you can kind of see the eyes and the eyebrows without making it look too over the top. So I kind of lower the opacity of the hair to give it that cool effect. Also, who doesn't love a guy with baggy eyes? <laughs> You can tell I like adding a lot of details to the eyes. It makes it more dramatic. I didn't like that the back of the characters was too bright, so I added a little bit of a shadow to all of them. So that's what I'm doing here. As I started rendering my last character, BB, um, I wanted to do the same effect with the bangs that I did with Timothy as well as a little bit with Amber and with Marcus where the hair kind of shows a little bit of opacity but I will be honest BB's was a little bit more difficult because I had a specific gradient I was going for that kind of didn't show whenever I did the eyebrows so I kind of let the eyebrows show a little bit more. Also, BB had these earplugs slash headphones on, so I kind of had to render that, which was a little annoying, but I got it. Since I already added the effects as I went along the painting, once I finished rendering BB, the drawing was practically finished. And this is the final drawing. I'm doing a slow pan zoom so that way you guys can get a closer look at all the eyes. <laughs> I really hope you like this week's video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Also, comment down below. Do you think there is such thing as over detailing eyes? Because you know how I like to add a lot of details to my character's eyes. Um, let me know what you think about that. I'll see you next week.